Welcome back to this series of videos covering off all the key features and functions of your DJ controller. Today we're going to be looking at the tempo adjustment slider, which is typically found in the bottom right hand corner of your device. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the tempo slider is always located generally in the bottom right hand corner of each of the decks. And it does what it says on the tin, it adjusts the speed of the record that you are playing. Moving the tempo adjustment down will increase the speed of your record. So if you move it towards you, it will increase the speed and moving it away from you, pushing it away or pushing it upwards will decrease the speed of your record. And that is universal across all DJing equipment. Couple of things to note when adjusting the speed of your records. The first thing is the tempo range. So most DJing software has different ranges that you can set your tempo um, to. So here on Recordbox, for example, and the default for all Pioneer equipment is plus or minus 10%, which is what the controller is set to now. Now you can adjust the speed range if you look on screen in the middle of your virtual deck, it's usually the red number um, next to the percentage underneath the BPM. So here, this is set to plus or minus 10%. On Pioneer as well, we can go up to plus or minus 16%. Wide, which is 100%, to be honest, um, unless you're doing special effects and tricks, you will, I would say, very rarely need to do this, but that is 100%, which is, is pretty big. And then plus or minus 6%. Now, why would you need such different ranges of tempo? Well, I would say that if you're doing long melodic blends where you need to have an extreme accuracy over a period of time, then having a smaller range is going to be a lot more accurate in terms of, in terms of your tracking. Because if you think about it, it's going to have, the, this slider is going to have to travel the same amount of distance, whichever range that you have your tempo set to. So you're going to have greater control on this slider if you have a smaller range set, because there's going to be a greater distance travel between each percentage point. So just bear that in mind. Typically, my default setting is plus or minus 10%. I find that this gives me ample amount of range and ample amount of accuracy. It's kind of the best between both worlds. Another key thing that you really need to take into consideration when using Tempo Adjust is a feature called Master Tempo. Now here on Recordbox, that is identified in the bottom right-hand corner of each deck. You can see the little MT, which stands for Master Tempo. If you want your records to stay in key with each other and you're mixing harmonically, so mixing in key, then you will want master tempo switched on. Um, if you do not have this switched on, you will get fluctuations in pitch. So let's, let me show you this as an example now. So you can hear there that the speed of the track is, is changing as I move the slider up and down, but also the pitch of the track is also changing. So if you're doing large fluctuations, it can make the track sound extremely weird. So just bear that in mind. That same track with master tempo switched on, So you notice there that when master tempo switched on, the speed is adjusted, but the pitch is not. I would firmly recommend having that switched on at all times for the majority of your DJ mixes. Now, having master tempo switched off can make for some really fun, cool effects and creative mixing, but for the majority of the time, if you're mixing one track into another, master tempo should be switched on. Hope you found this video useful. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope that you have found it useful. If you did and you are still watching at this moment, please do me a massive favor and hit the thumbs up button. That helps me to get this video out to more people that are going to find this type of content useful. And stick around for the next episode. I'll see you soon.